Okay, so what I thought I'd do today is um, kind of continue with the theme of uh, five favorites or least favorites. And today is going to be my uh, top five favorite minifigures. So we're going to start here at number five, and it is the pilot, the Imperial pilot you get with the new V-Wing fighter. Um, and uh, one of the reasons it's such a, a great minifigure um, it's just the look. You got a similar figure um, in uh, Palpatine's shuttle, and it was kind of the white version of this with a little less detail. I think this black, kind of more shadow version, is a lot better. Um, makes some of the other details pop. It makes his eyes look a lot better, um, in my opinion, especially with the helmet on. Makes it look like he's actually has some kind of visor on his helmet versus it just being his face so very very nice um, very cheap minifigure you can get this um, in the viewing uh, even now and it's only I think it's a fifteen dollar set so very nice very easy to to pick up um, almost want to get another one of these just so I have um, a set of them so there is that uh, number five choice uh, number four is the ARF Trooper from the new Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Um, nothing really special about him, uh, body-wise, it's the same clone body you get in every clone, but uh, the helmet is really what makes this Trooper uh, pretty spectacular. LEGO did a really, really good job with the detail. It's got all these little markings on it and stickers and emblems and a lot of different colors on this, just this helmet. Um, and it's a really, really nice mold. It really makes him look a lot, lot different, even though it's just a helmet. Um, there is a shadow version of this, but, um, and I do have it, but it's in a bag, um, so I really can't say how good that is, because um, I'm saving it. Uh, more on that later, but um, definitely a great figure. This is only a $11 set. Um, and I did buy two of these, so I have a set of them, so definitely worth picking up just for this figure. really makes your clone army a lot more unique um, for an easy price, so definitely worth picking up um, some of these. So uh, number three choice here is the new Boba Fett. Um, Everyone's kind of a big Boba Fett fan, um, but this new this new figure they did a really good job. A um, couple things that are kind of controversial. He's a little bit lighter green um, than I think he should be. Uh, if you see the uh, the color on the chest piece is a lot closer to what it should be, and then it's kind of this lighter green on top. But um, overall, it's still a great great looking figure. It's got he's got like kind of like the half torn cape and um, the light blue accents, um, even the gun is really cool, like even only only add one piece to it really makes it look like it's a special weapon versus just something that had something added to it so they did a really really good job with that um, but he just looks like a mercenary, like it's just a great figure, the other, the old Boba Fett's um, look very chunky especially when you uh, put him side to side with this and even though I'm a fan of the kind of like old notched helmets you actually have the black face that shines through, well not shines, but like the black face that appears through the visor. They did a really nice job with this helmet as well. It's got a lot of detail on it. It's got a lot of little dings and dents and stickers and it's got the little peg holes on the side so you can put attachments in it. And he still has a unique face too which is really cool and it's pretty close to the clone face as it should be. So all in all very, very nice, but you can put the rangefinder on there, other other little helmet attachments, and the jetpack's really nice too. It's nice and small as it should be, and uh, doesn't look chunky. Looks It fits with the uh, whole armor very, very nicely, so that is number three. Uh, number two choice is Jedi Master Jacques T. Um, this figure comes in a pretty terrible set, in my opinion. It comes in the T6 uh, shuttle, 
Jedi Shuttle, which is another new set. Um, but it's very, very nice figure. Um, one of the things that makes it really nice, first of all, is that the headpiece that comes with it fits onto the minifigure very, very nicely. Um, and it does have a lot of nice detail. It has a lot of coloring, as you can see, and uh, a lot of different colors on it. Um, but it's very nice. It's kind of a flexible, flexible plastic. Um, so it's not going to snap or break since it's very, very long. Um, but it just fits on to the figure very, very nicely. Uh, it looks like it's one piece, um, like like it's part of the head, the head mold, versus being an add-on. Um, which really makes the minifigure pop. Um, and she's still pretty attractive there. <laughs> nice long eyelashes. Um, but it's just a nice, a very nice minifigure, very complete. Um, there's a lot of alien Lego Star Wars minifigures, but this is one of them that really looks as it should from the movie or the cartoon. Um, very exact in detail and appearance. So definitely recommend this. Um, even though the set is really terrible, uh, this is such a great minifigure, I would recommend just buying the figure. Just go on eBay or Bricklink, you can pick pick it up for probably a couple dollars. Uh, definitely worth it. Especially if you have a clone or Jedi army. Uh, very, very nice minifigure. So that is the four choices so far. So we have number five is the Imperial Pilot. Number four, ARF Trooper. Number three, Boba Fett. Number two, Jedi Master Jacques T. And the number one favorite minifigure of all time, in my opinion, is Bark Trooper. This guy only ever came in the uh, original clone turbo tank from 2004. A uh, very rare minifigure. And it's one of the reasons I bought that entire set is just because of this figure. I'm a really big fan of the Scout Trooper design. I really like the Scout Trooper helmets. Um, which is partially the reason I really like the ARF Trooper. You can see there's a lot of design cues pulled from uh, this is what would, would be the earlier version into the later Imperial version. Um, but this trooper is just really, really nice. It's got a lot of great armor detail, little pouches and holsters on his legs and stuff. It's too bad he doesn't have back detail. Um, but it's just cool having something um, that I already had scout troopers, so it's cool to have them in kind of like a different color, make them more of a special unit um, in my army. So very, very nice to uh, to have that. And I realized I just said... This is an Imperial version, but it's not. This is actually, these are of the same generation, because um, this comes in the clone turbo tank, so I take that back. Um, but this is the Imperial design helmet that you do get later on. Um, and when they made this minifigure, it was before the Clone Wars TV show. So, not exactly bespoke from the... Uh, from the Imperial sets. Um, a lot of the old Revenge of the Sith stuff was very uh, very close to the Imperial stuff just because they didn't really design it um, separately but all the uh, Clone Wars stuff is a lot different as you can see. But um, anyways, so just to correct myself, this is still a clone. Um, but he does have the all black head and this is what I was talking about with, uh, with Boba Fett. Um, instead of giving him a fill-in on the helmet, you actually have the black head on the minifigure to create the visor effect. And I think that works better um, overall. I just like having that, that notch. It makes the helmet a little bit more detailed. Um, that's just my opinion though, but um, definitely my favorite minifigure um, for sure. There's a, there's a lot of other ones that I really do like. Um, Back the camera up here a little bit so we can get all these on the screen. Uh, now to talk about some things. Um, some of you, if you've seen uh, a lot of my videos, um, 
First of all, actually the first thing I want to say is sorry this video is going up a little late. Um, it is still Thursday, so it's not too late, but um, I was pretty busy yesterday. So I didn't get it. I usually, I usually film on Wednesday, um, but I did not get a chance to yesterday, so this video is going to go up a little late. Um, but anyways, um, so there it is, left to right real quick, five, four, three, two, and one. Um, but, uh, the reason why some of the minifigures that I have that are in bags, like the, uh, gold C-3PO or the chrome Darth Vader, stuff like that, those are not in my top favorites because I don't open them. They're, they're sealed. They're worth a lot of money sealed. Um, if you have them, uh, keep them in the bag. Um, they are worth so much more that way. I don't really collect a lot of things to sell them later on, but those are something I definitely... Um, I'm definitely going to hold on to in their original condition. Those are worth collecting and saving. So I do recommend that. That's why those aren't in my top favorites. Um, the other thing is um, there's a lot of other minifigures I really do like. Um, Plo Koon is a really good minifigure. Um, and he's in a couple sets now. He's got a starfighter and he's in uh, a clone gunship. Uh, there's a lot of clone variants that are really cool. Commander Cody from uh, the Clone Wars that you get in the attack gunship as well is very very nice. Um, there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of minifigures that I do like, but these ones are kind of my my favorites. And when I do most of these, I do kind of I, I walk around my room for a while and kind of think which ones really grab me more. Um, and these are the ones that I went with, obviously. So. There is that for you guys. Next week is going to be least favorite minifigures. Um, and then after that, I don't know what we're going to do. I think um, the plan, the new plan, is that my car that I've been talking about for a couple weeks should be done by next Friday. So maybe after I do the least favorite minifigures, the week after will be about my car um, that I've been getting rebuilt. So that could be next week. Or the, the following week, sorry. So that is the plan right now. So there's that, though. Top favorite, top five favorite minifigures. I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, last week I did least favorite sets. And the week before that I did uh, top five favorite sets. So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check it out. Um, try my best to do a new video for you guys every Thursday. Um, every once in a while that doesn't always work out. But for the most part I try to do that for you guys. So there is that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you next Thursday. Least favorite minifigures next Thursday. And thank you guys for watching.